Welcome back to Monetized History. I'm Daniel, and today, in honor of the 280th anniversary of her ascension to power, we'll be looking at Maria Theresa and her famous toddlers. Maria Theresa was the oldest surviving child of Charles VI, Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Her father always hoped for a son to succeed him, and so never trained the future empress in the art of running an empire. Thus, at age 23, she became the ill-prepared queen of an indebted and underarmed Austria. From the beginning, she was beset by wars challenging her legitimacy. Despite losing the mineral-rich duchy of Silesia, now in modern-day Poland, she managed to maintain control of the rest of her father's empire and place her husband on his throne. After suffering another military defeat in the Seven Years' War, Maria Theresa spent the rest of her reign focusing on domestic policy. Unencumbered from the threat of war, she began to modernize her empire. She built legislative, judicial, and financial institutions and turned away from an autocratic style of ruling common throughout Europe. Her financial reforms were so effective that she was the only Habsburg monarch to achieve a balanced budget. She died in 1780, likely from complications from a previous smallpox infection. The dollar, minted with her image, continues to be produced today, still bearing the date of the final year of her reign. The coat of arms on the reverse is as intricate as it is iconic. The double-headed eagle is a reference to both the Roman origins of the Holy Roman Empire, as well as Austria and Hungary, the heart of the Habsburg realms. The halos behind the eagle's heads reference the connections to the church in Rome. The crown above the eagle is the imperial crown of Austria, at the time the crown of the Holy Roman Empire. In the center of the shield are the arms of the Archduchy of Austria, originally a symbol of House Babenberg, the first rulers of Austria. Above it is the Archducal Hat of Austria, a mostly heraldic device since many crowns and coronets have been used by the Austrian Archdukes over the years. In the upper left quarter are the arms of Hungary, a combination of the arms of the Arpad dynasty, which founded the Kingdom of Hungary, and the Double Cross, a token of Hungary's long relationship with the Byzantine Empire. Above it, is the crown of St. Stephen, first worn by King Geza I. In the upper right quarter are the arms of Bohemia, first granted to Vladislav II by Holy Roman Emperor Frederick Barbarossa. The crown above it is the crown of St. Wenceslas, made by Emperor Charles IV for his coronation as King of Bohemia. In the lower left quarter are the arms of the Duchy of Burgundy, now part of southeastern France. These arms have been prominent in Habsburg heraldry since the duchy was first acquired by Theresa's ancestor, Philip of Castile, in 1482. The lower right quarter are the arms of the Margravate of Burgau, now part of southwestern Germany. These arms were likely included as this was the location of an important Habsburg mint. The initials for the Burgau mint master and mint warden from 1780 still remain under Theresa's effigy. Like all new monarchs, Maria Theresa's image was placed on the local coins in 1741, shortly after her ascension in 1740. What was unusual for the time was her insistence that the taller coin be rigorously designed and have a consistent silver content. In 1753, one of the first international monetary agreements was signed between the Holy Roman Empire and Bavaria, whereby both countries would mint coins with matching weight and fineness ensuring that coins could freely circulate between each country. It was this consistency of quality that earned the Maria Theresa Taller the trust of international markets. Debasement of silver coins was a common occurrence in the tumultuous world of the 18th and 19th centuries. It was because these Tallers weren't debased and haven't been debased in 1753 that they, along with the Spanish dollars, became the foundation for the emerging international economy. Around 400 million Maria Theresa dollars have been struck since 1780. They were so popular in the Levant and Eastern Africa that they were used as legal currency well into the 20th century. In many cases, they were more trusted than the local currencies. It, along with the Spanish dollar, was one of the primary reasons the U.S. adopted the dollar as its currency. On the obverse of the coin is the effigy of the Empress. Around the edge, Justitia et Clemencia is inscribed, Justice and Clemency. Teresa's personal motto. On the reverse is the partial coat of arms of the Holy Roman Empire. The legend in whole reads Maria Teresa, by the grace of God, Roman Empress, Queen of Hungary and Bohemia, Archduchess of Austria, Duchess of Burgundy, Comtess of Tyrol. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Do you have a Maria Teresa Toller in your collection? 
Tell me about it in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.